Gears, the pinnacle of human engineering. Well, it certainly is important. Gears help translate mechanical force from one place to another, from different angles and directions of motion, to different energy mediums altogether. What differentiates planetary gears? Planetary gear sets, or epicyclic gears, differentiate themselves by having three different gears that work in an odd way. They both rotate as normal gears do, but also translates and orbits. So what is the purpose of this? Well, the purpose of the planetary gear set is to have a large ratio in a compact area. It is lightweight, small, and can transform speed to torque in large amounts and effectively. The gear set is composed of four components. You can think of these as a solar system, as they already share the names of one. We have the sun gear, located in the center. The planet gears, the moving gears in the middle that orbit the sun gear. And the ring gear, that is located furthest out and is a circular gear that connects around the planet gears, our asteroid belt. The fourth component is a carrier, which is connected to the planet gears and extracts the mechanical force from them to one axle in this case. Any one of these gears can be driving the mechanism, or be driven. However, to get the largest ratio possible for maximum torque or higher RPM, you would make the sun gear, the driving gear, and the carrier which is connected to the planet gears, the driven gear, or vice versa. Let's talk ratios. To get a ratio, the normal formula of gears is to divide the number of teeth of the driving gear by the number of teeth of the driven gear. It's as easy as this. If you have a driving gear with 10 teeth and a driven gear with 5 teeth, the formula would be 10 divided by 5. If we divide it out, we get 2. However, we need a denominator, and for a whole number it will always be equal to the number divided by 1. Now we will get 2 divided by 1, or a 2 to 1 ratio. These are the same thing, just written differently. However, we need to take in consideration that the planets are also orbiting, so we can't just use this formula, unfortunately, since we now have velocity in the mix. The new formula is derived to be like this. 1 plus teeths of the ring gear divided by teeths of the sun gear. This will in the end give us a maximum ratio of 10 to 1 for a single stage if you make the sun gear as small as possible and the planet gears as big as possible, while still serving its purpose of compactness and being lightweight. The planet gear has plenty of advantages that we will now go over. While a simple gear transmission with teeth that are straight is in contact with each other, meaning at any given moment when the gear's teeth are touching, will give a ratio of contact of less than 1, since during the whole contact phase, the contact between the teeth won't cover the whole tooth except at the maximum point of contact. A planetary gear will have triple the contact area because it has three or more driven gears in contact at all times. However, we can make it better. By slanting the teeth of the gears that we call a helix angle, we can now have more contact per tooth that is passing. The helix angle can be up to 15 degrees, and with this combination of this larger contact area at a single moment, and more contact per tooth over time, we can get a significantly larger capacity for torque, up to 50% more, only with a 15% degrees helix angle. This will also inherently give other advantages as well, such as better load sharing, better heat dispersion, quieter and longer operating life. The efficiency of a stage is about 97%, so only 3% is lost to heat and sound, which is very good. The optimal range of the planetary gear set will land between a ratio of 4 to 1 to 8 to 1. This will give the most capacity for torque, while not putting too much stress on the gears so it doesn't malfunction prematurely. These are some applications where the planetary gear set might be used. Slew drives, winch drives, track drives, mixing pumps, cutter heads, medical scanners, operating tables, and turbine to propeller reduction. Thank you all for watching, and if you found this video informative, then consider drinking a glass of water. Hydration is important.